fly. Melt your hips to your heels. We're going to do some different motions today. We're going to work towards uh, extending the hamstrings. Walk your hands forward, bring your forehead down to the mat. Just going to start integration into the, into the practice for the day. Forehead on the ground, slow deep breath into the nose. And out of the mouth. If you're just wandering in, I recommend having two blocks and a strap or something to use as blocks and a strap. As you inhale, fill your belly up towards the ground. And as you exhale, fill your belly come back for, up towards your spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Three more breaths. Try to leave your hands where they are. We're going to come, in, uh, come up into a posture called Kapitasana. So we're going to shift our hips up, kind of like we're coming up into a tabletop. Keep the knees bent and send the hips forward and down. This is kind of an up dog variation, but your knees are bent. Keep your heels coming towards your glutes. Just extend the hip flexors, extend the chest and the, and the torso. Inhale. And then exhale, send the hips back and down, child's pose. We're gonna do that three more times. Inhale, Kapitasana, send the hips forward and down, keep the knees bent, and exhale forward, back to child's. Inhale up, and exhale back. One more, inhale up, and exhale back. Inhale, rise up to tabletop, shoulders at wrists, just a quick note, if you ever need a break throughout the class, feel free to just come back to child's pose and rest there for a few breaths and rejoin us when you're done. I'm gonna get dog hair off my mat. <laughs> All right. Tabletop. Parallel spine to the ground, tops your feet down, spread your fingers wide. Inhale, cow pose, drop your belly down, turn your gaze to the sky, arch your tail up. And then exhale, cat pose, arch your back up towards the sky. Bring your chin to chest, tuck your tail underneath you. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. As you inhale down for cow, draw your shoulders together and down your back. Turn your knees high, arch your tail up. And then exhale, cat, tuck your tailbones underneath you, spread your shoulder blades apart from one another. Chin to chest. One more round. Inhale down. And exhale up. Come back to neutral. Parallel your spine to the ground, spread your fingers wide. Shift your weight to your left hand, inhale your right hand up to the sky. And then exhale, thread the needle, bring your right arm underneath your left, right shoulder down, right ear down. Option leads is passive and just relax here. Option to stack your elbow, your left elbow over your left wrist and gently press your hand into the earth to increase the twist of your spine. Option also to take a half bind, reach your left arm behind your low back, reach for your right inner thigh, hook your fingers on the inside of your right thigh if you can, and just gently pull on the thigh to increase the twist of your torso. Take another deep breath in, and out. Inhale, and exhale. Bring your left hand back down to the ground. Inhale your right hand up to the sky. And then exhale it down. Maybe shimmy out a little bit. And then scoot your weight to your right hand. Inhale your left hand up to the sky. And then exhale, thread the needle. Bring your left arm underneath your right. Left shoulder down, left ear down. Again, option leave this passive. Option to keep it act make it active. Press your right hand with the earth or take the half bind. Try to find the same expression you did on the other side. If you're taking the half bind, reach for your left inner thigh and just gently pull on the leg with your right arm to increase the twist. Take a deep breath in, 
and out. One more inhale. And exhale. Bring your right hand back down to the ground. Inhale your left hand up high. And then exhale it down. For every neutral tabletop, walk your hands forward, one hand print. Tuck your toes underneath you. Hover your knees up off the ground. And then exhale down or facing down. Sit your hips up and back. Start to just walk slowly in place. Leave the balls of your feet where they are. Just bend one knee, straighten the other leg. And switch slowly alternate between the two just to start to wake up your calf and hamstrings for the flow. And send both heels down towards the ground. Send your chest toward your thighs and then your thighs to the back wall. If you find it a curve to the spine, Take a slight bend to the knees, remove some stretch from your hamstrings to send your chest even deeper toward your thighs. Take a deep breath in and out. I'm trying to remember the sensation of down dog. We'll be here several times throughout the class. This is home base. Again, if you ever need a break, just come back to child's. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, right tall. Walk your feet behind your wrists. Feet remain shoulder with distance. Have a generous enough bend in your knees so your low belly can rest on your thighs. Let your arms and head dangle down towards the ground. Option to stay here in this passive right belt and just dangle. Option to grab opposite elbows and sway your torso left and right. The arm and head just dangle. It's the torso itself that moves. So it's a sway, a move left and right, not a twist. Make sure you feel a nice stretch in the low back. Come back to center. Release your hands down. Slowly roll up to stand one vertebra on top of the next. And then take a couple shoulder rolls, go in one direction, and then the other. Draw your hands together at heart center and close your eyes. Exhale all of your air. Inhale through your nose, go up. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Bring to the forefront of your mind whatever you might wish to dedicate today's practice to. This could be something for yourself, something for someone you know and love, a community. You can work with a philosophy. This could be something as simple as being present in this moment, cultivating calm, finding gratitude, or searching for a little peace, a break from your day. Whatever you wish to dedicate today's practice to, bring it to the forefront of your mind. I'm trying to keep it there the rest of throughout the rest of class. To help seal your intention, exhale all of your air. Inhale through your nose, go up. And open up, exhale, let it go. Release your hands down to your sides. What are your eyes open? Toe heel your feet together, big toes to touch. Tiny slipper of space between your heels. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep your arms up to the sky. So we're gonna tuck the tailbone slightly. Pull your navel in and down towards your spine rather than splaying your ribs out. Draw your shoulder blades together and down your back. Gaze forward. Inhale, and then the crown, the top of your head up towards the sky. And exhale forward, fold. Hinge forward at the hips. Reach down towards the earth. Nice straightish legs. Dangle your arms and head down towards the ground. Now you could be up here, and that's fine. Or you might have your hands all the way down to the ground. Apparently, I need to scoop back. Inhale, halfway lift, parallel you back to the ground. Palms on your shins, just below the knees. Find a flat back. Again, your back is curved, just like a down dog. Take a slight bend in the knees to find a flatter spot. Spine. Draw your shoulders together and down your back. Inhale. Exhale, high plank. Plant your palms, step back to the top. Go push up. So for today, we're going to shift forward onto tip toes and then drop the knees down. Toes can either stay touching or lifted. Exhale, chaturanga. Lower your shoulders down, bring your ribs to your elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog, tops your feet down, lift the knees up, stack your shoulders over your wrists. Exhale, downward facing dog. So that is a version of Chaturanga. You can also do it off the knees. You could also take baby cobra or just skip it all together and hold high plank. 
for our vinyasa to get back to downward facing dog. Two more rounds of side A. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. You can walk, you can hop, you can jump up to the top of your mat. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Please note, if you are jumping to the top of your mat, hopping up to the top of your mat, try to do it quietly. Nice, gentle jump. So you'll have more weight in your arms and relaxing your, your feet down to the ground a little bit. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach your arms up to the sky. And exhale, forward fold. Hinge forward and the hips. Reach down towards the earth. Inhale, halfway lift, parallel your spine to the ground. Exhale, your vinyasa could be chaturanga, could be baby cobra, could be chaturanga on the knees, whatever you wish to take. If you're taking chaturanga, bring your ribs to your elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog, shine your heart forward. And exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hands up and back. Take a deep breath in. And out. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, parallel your spine to the ground. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain, sweep your arms up to the sky. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, parallel your spine to the ground. And exhale, chaturanga. If you choose to potentially hop back to chaturanga, land with bent arms rather than hopping the high plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, shine your heart forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. That's our sun A. We'll be on to sun B. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, parallel your spine to the ground. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, seat hips back and down, lift your biceps up by your ears. Now please note, this is chair pose. So is this. Find your depth in your chair. You want to make sure your weight is in your heels, your knees drawn back so you can still see your toes, maybe even the middle of your feet. Squeeze your thighs together, tuck the tailbone slightly, navel in and down, biceps up by your ears. We're creating a lightning bolt shape with the body. Grip the fingertips down to the hips, forward to the knees, and then down to the heels. Inhale, sink down a little bit deeper. Ooh. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, parallel your spine to the ground. So this time we're actually going to step the left foot back, low lunge. So step your front knee over front ankle, back leg is uh, left leg is back, heel over your the ball of your foot. Gently set the back knee down. We're going to come up, bring your shoulders over your hips, plant your hands on your front thigh. Pull your right hip back, left hip forward, square your hips to the front of your mat, tuck the tailbone slightly, engage your left glute. Inhale. Exhale, send your hips forward and down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, forward and down. The more of a back bend you take, the stronger the stretch will be in the left hip flexor. Three more reps. Inhale, up. Exhale, forward and down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, forward and down. One more. Inhale, up. And exhale, down. So we have two options here. You can either come up into kneeling crescent, where the back knee is down, shoulders on hips, just reach the arms up. You can also work towards crescent moon, where you really take a back bend, reach your arms back towards the wall behind you. Then inhale, rise up. Come back to low lunge for a second. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Now we're gonna come to a modified version of pyramid pose. So keep your chest close to your thigh. You can be up on your fingertips. You can also grab your blocks if you need and have those just kind of at the top of your mat on either side. And start to extend the front leg. Keep your chest glued to your thigh. Bring your forehead closer to your shin. Pull your right hip back, left hip forward. As you inhale, lengthen your spine long. As you exhale, hinge a little bit deeper. Perhaps straighten the leg a little bit more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. One more. And exhale, fold. Start to rebend the front leg, send your front your front ankle. Try to leave your lower body where it is. Inhale, crescent lunge. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Reach your arms up to the sky. If you're feeling wobbly, walk your front foot out a step or two to widen your stance. Hold 
here. Inhale. Actually, see, see if you can put your, see if you can sink your front knee over your front ankle a little bit more. Inhale. Exhale. Open up. Twist. We're gonna draw the right hand back towards the wall behind your mat. Reach your left arm forward. Turn your torso towards the right roof, right side of the roof. As you inhale, lengthen your spine tall. As you exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Maybe even look over your right shoulder. Look at the wall behind you. Float your front knee forward so it's over your ankle. If, it, if you strengthen your leg at all, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, twist. Now inhale, warrior two, spiral open to the left side of the room. Tuck the tailbone, navel in and down, shoulder blades together and down the back. Your front toes point directly forward, back toes point to the left side of the room. Inhale. With your gaze over your front fingers, exhale, extend that angle, reach forward and down. Turn your gaze over your left shoulder up to the sky. Now, you can either rest your forearm on your thigh, or reach up your arm on the inside of your front leg towards the ground. You want to keep the core nice and engaged, back spine nice and straight, turn your gaze up high. Leave your front knee where it is, inhale, reverse, actually no, straighten the front leg. Inhale, reverse triangle. So with a straight leg, we're going to kind of bump the hips forward. Your back hip will kind of pop down a little bit, front hip will pop up. Reach your front arm up and back. Slide your back hand either down your back leg, outside of your back leg, or take a half bind. Wrap it around your low spine. Take a deep breath in. And out. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, tilt back a little bit further. And then exhale, chaturanga, cartwheel down. Step your right foot back. Actually, keep the right foot lifted as you lower halfway down. Elbows to ribs. Inhale, upper facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And out. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, apparently spine to the ground. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, and hips back and down, lift your biceps up. Remember, squeeze the thighs together, pull the knees back, tuck the tailbone, engage the core, biceps up, by your ears. Inhale, take your hips back and down, one more inch, maybe more. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, find halfway lift, parallel your spine to the ground. And then exhale, low lunge, tip your right foot back this time. So now your left leg is forward in this low lunge. We're gonna drop the back knee down, untuck the toes, shoulders over hips, hands on thigh. Take the opposite stack of the hands on your front thigh that you did the other. So we had left on top of right on the other side, had right on top of left on this side. Just to find that balance between the two sides. Again, if you're feeling wobbly at all, walk the front foot out to the left a little bit. Inhale. Tuck the back toe, or excuse me, tuck the tailbone, engage the right glute. Exhale, send your hips forward and down. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, forward and down. Three more rounds. Inhale up. Again, the more of a back bend you take here, as you sink your hips forward, the more stretch will feel in the right hip flexor. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale, forward and down. One more, inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. So you have the option, keep your hips forward and down to just reach up for a healing crescent lunge. Or you can take crescent moon, reach the hands back. You can even bend the elbows out to your mats or cactus arms here for this back bend. Inhale, rise back up. And then exhale, low lunge for a second. Bring your hands down. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, keep the legs where they are, glue your chest to your front thigh. Come up onto your fingertips, get not your blocks. Inhale, exhale, modify pyramid, straighten the front leg, bring your forehead closer to your shin. It doesn't matter how straight you get the leg, just so long as you're getting a good stretch in your lateral hamstring and the left leg. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, stick. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. One more. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Inhale, press and lunge. Step your shoulder, front knee over front ankle. And, and reach your arms up to the sky. Pull the left hip back, right and forward. Square your hips to the front of the mat. Tuck the tailbone. Inhale. Exhale, open arm twist. Draw your left hand back, right hand forward. Square your, turn your torso towards the left side of the room. Maybe even turn your gaze over your left shoulders. Look at the space behind your mat. Again, if you're feeling wobbly, 
Walk your front foot out to the left a bit. To widen your stance. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, warrior two, spiral open to the left side of the room. Scoot to the right side of the room. Uh, front toes point directly forward. Right toe, back toes are, back foot is parallel to the back of your mat. Parallel your arms to the ground. Turn the gaze over your front fingers. Inhale. Exhale, or sunset angle, tilt forward and down. Again, you can either bring forearm to thigh or reach your arm to the inside of the front leg. Turn your gaze up to the sky. If you're reaching on the inside, press your arm into your thigh to increase the twist of your heart up towards the sky. Now, we're going to straighten the front leg. Inhale, reverse triangle. Reach your left arm up and back and bump your hips forward towards the front of the room. Slide your back hand either down your back leg or wrap your back arm around your low back for a half bind. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, tilt back a little bit further. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale. And exhale. Chop it on the cartwheel down. Step back. Keep the left foot lifted if you wish for more core work. Lower halfway down. Inhale, upper facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And out. Inhale. And exhale. Alright, that was our seven B. We're gonna flow through two more times. Inhale look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, parallel your spine to the ground. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose by your death. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, parallel your spine to the ground. And then exhale, low lunge. Step your left foot back, bring your hands down to the earth. Gently set the back knee down. Inhale, either kneeling crescent. Hips forward and down, reach the arms up, or crescent moon. Reach your hips further forward, reach the arms back. Option for cactus arms. Inhale, rise back up, and exhale, modified pyramid. Hands down to floor or block, or fingertips down to floor or block. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Straighten your front leg as much as is comfortable. Feel the good stretch in the lateral hamstring. Inhale, crescent lunge. Float your front knee over front ankle. Reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, open arm twist. Bring your right hand back, left hand forward. Again, option to widen your stance. Inhale, warrior two. Spiral open to the left side of the room. And then exhale, extend side angle, tilt forward and down. Turn your gaze up high. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten the front leg. Bump your hips forward, reach your top front arm up and back. Option for the half bind. And then exhale, jump it on, the cartwheel down. Step back, option to keep the right foot lifted as you lower down. Inhale, upper facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Bend your knees, sink hips back and down. Float your biceps up by your ears. Find your depth. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, step the right foot back, low lunge. Gently set the back knee down. Inhale, either kneeling crescent or excuse, kneeling crescent or crescent moon. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands down. Tuck the back toes with the back knee. Modify pyramid. Straighten the front leg as much as is comfortable. Inhale, crescent lunge. Sink your front knee over front ankle. Reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, open up, twist. Left hand back, right hand forward. Turn the gaze to over your left shoulder. Inhale, warrior two, spiral open to the right side of the room, front knee over front ankle. Exhale, extend side ankle, tilt forward and down, turn your gaze up high. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg, bump your hips forward, reach the front leg, arm up and back. Exhale, chaturanga, cartwheel down, step back and flow. Inhale, upper facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take another deep breath in. And out. One more time through each side. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Bend your knees, sink your back and down. Put your biceps up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge. Shift your left foot back. Back knee down. Inhale, either kneel the crescent or crescent moon. Rise up, inhale, and then exhale, modify 
pyramid. Straighten the back, look. back leg. Straighten your front leg. Inhale, crescent lunge. Close your front knee forward. Reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, open up, twist. Draw your right hand back, left hand forward. Turn gaze back. Inhale, warrior two. Spread out, open to the left side of the room. Exhale, extend side angle. Tilt forward and down. Straighten the front leg. Inhale, reverse triangle. Bump your hips forward. Reach up and back. And exhale, Chaturanga, cartwheel down. Step back, go right halfway down. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last side, inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, bend your knees, and hips back and down, put your biceps up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge, step the right foot back, left foot forward. Gently sit the back knee down. Inhale, either knee with crescent or crescent moon. Inhale, rise. And then exhale, walk that pyramid, tuck back toes, and back knee. Straighten the front leg. Inhale, crescent lunge, float your front knee forward, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, open up, twist, draw your left hand back, right hand forward. Twist towards the left side of the room. Inhale, warrior two. Blossom open to the right side of the room. Exhale, extend side angle until the morning down. Chin gaze up high. Inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten the front leg, bump your hips forward. Reach your, right, your front arm up and back. And then exhale, chaturanga. Cart row down. Step back, lower halfway down. Inhale, upper facing. Exhale, downward facing lock. Take a deep breath in. And out. Inhale, look forward, and exhale, bend your knees, have a seat. Feel free to towel off, get a sip of water, whatever you need before we continue. So we're going to come back to the downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And out. Inhale your right leg, come back. Exhale, low lunge, shift up between your hands. Draw these to the back knee down. We're going to take a slightly simpler version of this. Inhale, kneeling crescent. Reach your arms up overhead. So you can stay here kneeling. You can, if you wish. Tuck the back toes, slip the back knee for high crescent. That's up to you. Inhale. Exhale, open arm twist. Once again, reach your right hand back, left hand forward. Turn your torso towards the right wall. As you inhale, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Maybe turn your gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. So a little bit different here. You're going to bring your back hand to your back thigh. Reach your left arm up to the sky. Exalted crescent. So this is not only a twist, but also a bit of a back, uh, a bit of a twist, but also a back bend. Lift your gaze up high. If you need to, you can set the back knee down. If you're in high crescent, take a deep breath in and out. Inhale and exhale. From here, inhale and then exhale, crescent. Just bring your back hand back up. So from here, we're actually going to look to a, stand, a standing balancing posture here called airplane. So I want you to kind of launch forward, try to stack your hips over your front ankle. Reach your arms behind you like you're holding a beach ball behind your back. Fingers wide, palms face one another. So part of the goal here is to parallel both your leg and your torso with the ground. Look at something below you that does not move. This is your drishti, your focal point. It'll help the balance. Engage your triceps, lift your pinkies up a little higher. From here, you can bring the hands to heart center, or reach your arms forward for warrior three. Again, try to parallel your back leg, your torso, and maybe even your arms with the ground. Inhale, and exhale. 
Inhale. And exhale. Now, bring your hands down towards the ground or to your blocks. Keep the left foot lifted in what's called standing splits. So you want to bring, ooh, one sec. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done this. So extend the left leg again if you bent it. Try to bring your chest down towards your front thigh. Lift your left foot up towards the sky. Feel a stretch in your lateral hamstring on this side. Inhale. And exhale. Only pull as much as is comfortable. Engage your left glute, lift your heel a little higher. Inhale. And exhale, set the back foot down. Gently set the back knee down. Whew. <laughs> Low lunge. So we're actually going to come into runner's lunge. Walk your right foot up to the right edge of your mat. Gently set the back knee down if, it's, if it is lifted. So, a couple of options here. You can either stay in your palms. You can come down to your forearms, be it forearms to block or forearms to ground. Other option, quad stretch. So you shift your weight to your left hand, reach your right hand to the back wall. Bend your left knee, capture your foot with your hand, and peel, pull your heel towards your glute. Now, you, if you need, you can also take your strap, loop your strap around your ankle, and pull your heel towards your glute. Find your expression of this quad stretch, if you're taking it. You can always just take a resting rather slouch. Take a deep breath in. And out. The reason why this is a stronger stretch when you pull your heel towards your glute is because your hip is an extension thus stretching all four quad muscles, not just three. Your fourth one, your rectus femoris, is a two joint muscle, and so to stretch it, it requires your hip to be an extension rather than bent. Take a deep breath in, and out. Start to release your left leg. All right, walk your front foot in to the lunge once again. Grab your blocks, or whatever you're using as blocks. Have them on either side of your front leg, around mid-thigh level, shoulders over hips. So, we're going to extend your front leg for a half split. I believe it's Arda, Hami, Arda Hamana, Hanumanasana. There we go. Pull your right hip back, left hip forward, square your shoulders and your hips towards your foot. Inhale, lengthen your spine, and exhale, hinge forward as much as is comfortable. Go to the point of stretch, not to the point of pain. Feel the stretch in your lateral right hamstring. Uh, I, forget, I don't think I've mentioned this so far today. So a difference between medial and lateral. So medial, we have a, a line going down the center of our body, anatomically speaking. That's the midline. Anything close to the midline is your medial. Anything further away from the midline is lateral. So the hamstring, we have a set of medial hamstrings and one lateral hamstring. So when you're, whenever you have your hips perpendicular to your leg and you're folding forward, you're stretching the lateral hamstring. If your legs are further apart than perpendicular, you're simply stretching the medial hamstring. Inhale, lengthen your heart forward. Exhale, hinge a little bit more. You can also always adjust the height of your blocks or the position. You're walking forward, you're walking back. Find your depth. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And exhale, fold. Slowly start to come back up. We bend your front leg. Center blocks to the side. A little lunge. Tuck your back toes to the back knee. Step back, down dog. Maybe take a moment to walk in place. And then set both heels down. Take a deep breath in. And out. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, your left leg up and back. Exhale, low lunge, stick the foot between your hands. Gently set the back knee down, shoulders up your hips. Reach your arms into the sky, kneeling crescent. So again, you can stay here in kneeling crescent, or you can tuck the back toes, lift the back knee for high crescent. That's up to you. Left to back, right to four, square your hips to the front of the mat. Inhale. 
Exhale, open up, twist, straight left hand back, right hand forward. Same thing as we were doing in 7B. Roll, float your front knee over your front ankle. As you inhale, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Maybe look over your left shoulders at this wall behind you. Inhale, lengthen tall. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, twist. One more. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, twist. So the back hand, we're going to just drop it down to your back thigh. Inhale your front hand up. Take a slight back bend, exalted crescent. So the back heel stays lifted. If you need to, you can grab the bottom knee, back knee down if it isn't already. Otherwise, keep the knee lifted. Inhale, exhale back bend a little bit further. Gently, be gentle with yourself. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, come up to crescent lunge. Look back knee up if your back knee is down. And then exhale, launch forward onto your front leg. So balance your hips over your foot. Try to parallel both your foot, your, excuse me, your back leg, and your torso with the ground. Reach your hands behind you, like you're holding a beach ball behind you. Fingers wide, palms face one another. Slight bend of the elbows, engage your triceps to lift your pinkies up towards the sky. Angle your right toes down towards the ground. Inhale, warrior three, either hands to heart center or reach forward towards the space in front of you. Parallel your arms with the ground as well. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale, stand split. Bring your hands down to either the blocks or the floor. Lift your right heel up towards the sky. Bring your chest closer to your thigh. Inhale, and exhale, fold. It doesn't matter if your foot is only about a foot above the ground or if your foot's all the way up to us, towards the ceiling. It's still standing split. Inhale, and exhale. Well, last one, inhale, and then exhale, bring the back foot down. Come to runner's lunge. Walk the left foot out to the left, drop the back knee down. So, same options as the other side. You can stay in your palms, you can come down to your forearms on the block or the ground, or you can take the quad stretch. Shift your weight to your right hand or fist, reach your left hand back, bend your right knee, Use your strap if you need to around your ankle, put your heel towards your glute. Send your hips forward and down, and down. Just gently pull your heel towards your glute. Feel the stretch in your right quad. change the blocks. You can change the height, you can change the distance from your hips. Find your depth, find your pop, your half split. And you could be up here, that's totally fine. You can have your forearm, your forehead to your shin, that's fine too. Any place in between is still half split, find your expression. Every person's body is different, and this side will likely be different than the other. For me, my left side is way looser than my, than my right. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. One more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Rebend your front knee. Sit your blocks aside. Low lunge. Touch back toes. Touch back knee. Sit back. Down dog. Take a deep breath in. And out. Inhale. And exhale. 
Shift forward out here to high plank. Shoulders over wrists. And lower all the way down to your belly. Everything else is on the ground today. <laughs> Slide your hands back so your fingertips are at nipple level. Toss your feet down. Draw your legs together like one long tail. Exhale all of your air. Inhale, baby cobra. Use your low back, lift your chest up off the ground. Press the tops of feet into the earth. Engage your legs, lift your knees up. Bring your gaze down about six inches in front of the top, top of your mat to lengthen your neck. Inhale, lift up a little higher. And then exhale, bring your left ear down to the ground. Rest your arms at your sides. Relax your legs. Belly down, Shavasana. Chin back to the mat. So we're going to bend your knees, bring your heels towards your glutes, capture the outsides for your ankles or your feet. If you need, you can use your strap. Loop your strap around both your ankles, ankles, there we go, and pull your heels closer to your glutes that way. Alright. Either with your strap or hands under your ankles or feet, keep your knees hip width distance. Exhale. Inhale, floor bow. Kick your feet in your hands to lift your chest up. Maybe float your legs up off the ground. Balance on your belly or your hips. Keep your knees hip with distance. Inhale, kick up a little bit higher. Exhale, stay. Inhale, a little higher still. And then exhale, release down. Bring your right ear to the ground. Keep, often keep your knees bent and send your feet to the left and the right for this little windshield wiper action to help release the low back. Deep breath in, and out. Inhale, and exhale. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, toes back down to the ground. Inhale, press up to tabletop, and then just shift your hips to the side, extend your legs up long in front of you. So we've done a fair bit of core folding for the lateral hamstring. So let's do something for the medial hamstring. So we're gonna take a wide leg board fold. So either legs wide at the top of your mat or turn to one side and spread your legs as wide as you can. Okay. Arms up to the sky. Oh, also, if you are having trouble stacking your shoulders over your hips, take a block. Place it underneath your hips. That'll make it a little easier to set up tall here. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge forward. Either place your hands in front of you or slide your hands down your legs. Grab as accessible your calves, your ankles, your feet. Use your biceps to pull yourself a little bit deeper. Inhale, lengthen your heart forward. Exhale, fold a little more. Feel the stretch in your medial hamstring. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And exhale, hold. Inhale, slowly come back up. Let's bend your knees with your soles, your feet together. So, Baddha Konasana, down angle pose, also known as butterfly. You have two options here. You can either stretch the inner thigh, your groin muscles, or your low back. The closer your heels are to your groin, or if your heels are fairly close to your groin, you're stretching the inner thigh. If you're creating a diamond shape of the body with your heels further away, you're stretching the lower back. So you can decide whether you're stretching your inner thigh or your low back, up to you. Whichever variation you're in, inhale like the spine tall, and exhale hinge forward the hips. If you're stretching the groin, you can take your hands, cup them around your toes. Use your biceps to put yourself a little bit deeper. If your heels are further away, stretch the low back, you can grab your ankles and gently use your biceps to pull yourself deeper. Or either position, just curl forward. Up to you. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, hinge a little bit deeper. One more. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Start to walk your palms back towards your front shin, or towards your feet, rather. Your hips come up. If you're turned to the side, rotate back forward. Stand your legs up on the front of you, and then bring yourself down to your back. 
Bring your heels close to your glutes on the mat. Feet and knees remain hip width distance. You should be able to lightly graze your heels with your fingertips, no closer, no further. I mean, if you can't get your heels close enough for that, that's okay. But I would recommend closer than that. With your arms at your sides, elbows on the ground, bend your elbows, point your fingertips up towards the sky, rotate your palms, face one another, find these little robot arms. You'll see why I'm here in a moment. So in, exhale all your air. Inhale, bridge pose, so fingertips up towards the sky. And then exhale, press your tricep and elbow into the earth to send your chest closer to your chin, creating more curve in the thoracic spine. Inhale, hips a little higher. Exhale, press down a little bit more. Draw your chin away from your chest. Inhale, hips a little higher. Exhale, press down a little bit more. Float your heels up. And then exhale, relax the arms down. Slowly bring the back down one vertebra at a time. Let your pelvis be the last thing of your torso to come down. And once your pelvis hits the ground, relax your heels down. Time for hip stretching. So you have a couple options here. You can stay here on your back. Cross the right ankle over the left thigh. Grab your right ankle over the left thigh. Grab your left hamstring with both hands and pull your knee to your chest. You also have the option to rock forward into half pigeon. Parallel to the top, your shin to the top of your mat. Stretch your back leg back. Point your toes to the back of the room. With your hands by your shins, inhale, pop up the chest. And then exhale, walk your hands forward. Bring your forehead down to something physical, be it the ground, your hands, or a block. Whatever you find accessible. Whichever variation you're in, either half pigeon or reclining pigeon on your back, flex your right toes towards your right knee to protect the knee. Notice the stretch in the outside of your right hip. If you're in half pigeon and you have your head on your forehead on something physical, option to rock it, your head side to side to massage your forehead, massage your third eye center. A couple more breaths here. a lot of hamstring and hip flexor stretching today. Given that a lot of us are working from home now, if we weren't already, we're sitting, at a de sitting down a lot, our hip flexors are getting tight from being at a 90 degree angle or more all day long. This is really good to help stretch them out, help prevent any issues for the hip and the low back. One more deep breath in and out. For those on your back, just gently bring both feet back down to the ground. For those in half pigeon, lift your head up, walk your hands back towards your front shin, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, step your right foot back, down dog. For those on your back, look, you're just kind of drift your knees to the left and right, little windshield wiper action. For those who took half pigeon, to take some movements for the right leg, bring some blood back to the hip. What I like to do is bend my heel towards my glute, open my hip up to the right side of the room, and then draw circles with my knees in the, my right knee in the sky. Nice big wide circles. First one direction, and then the other. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale right foot back down. For those in your back, cross your left ankle over your right thigh, grab your right hamstring with both hands, your left hand reach between the legs, and gently pull your heel towards your glute. For those taking half pigeon, inhale the left leg up and back, and then exhale, left foot towards your right thumb. Lay your shin down on the ground as close to as parallel to the top of your mat as you can, but if your hip heel is all the way back by your right hip, that's totally fine. Anywhere uh, in this position is half pigeon. Scoot your back right back a little bit, point your back toes directly back towards the wall behind you, pop up the chest, and then exhale, hinge forward, bring your forehead down to something physical. Be it the ground, your arms or hands, or a block. Whatever variation you're in, either half pigeon or reclining pigeon, flex your left toes towards your left knee to protect your knee. For those on your back, the only things engaged here should be the left shin to flex the toes towards the knee and your biceps. For those in half pigeon, the only thing really engaged here at all is the shin. Feel the stretch in your left hip, your outer hip. Notice how it's different than the other side. Is it tighter? Is it looser? Just bring your breath to the stretch. 
Also, if you're in half pigeon, I forgot to mention this on the other side, try to make sure your hips are parallel to the ground. And if your hips are fairly high up, you can also place a block underneath the hip of the front leg. Apologies, I forgot to mention that on the other side. So deep breath in. And out. We store a lot of memory and emotions in the muscles of our hips. Traumatic responses, fear, anger, joy, happiness. If, you're, if you start to remember things that happened long ago, if you start to re-experience these memories, these emotions, try to acknowledge them, accept them, and just let them go. Because these memories and emotions can get released from the hips and come back to the mind. Try to be here and now as much as you can. Take another deep breath in. And out. For those on your back, just bring your feet back down to the ground. You start to wedge walk your legs side to side. For those in half pigeon, slipping pigeon, walk your hands back towards your front shin. Tuck your back toes, tuck your back knees, step back, down dog. Take the same capture move as you did on the other side. Again, first I like to bring my heels towards my glute, open my hips up to that side of the room, and draw circles in the air nice and big and wide with my knee, both directions, and then bring your foot back down. For those who took half pigeon, come back down to a seat, and then down to your back. Everyone, bring your arms up to the T. Float your knees up over your hips, parallel your shins to the ground. Inhale. And then actually send your knees to the left. Turn your gaze to the right. Supine twist. Feel free to stay here. Come up a little bit more. Leave your top leg where it is. Now you're bending the, heat, the hip and the knee. You can extend the bottom leg to the top of the mat. Maybe even take your left hand and place it on the right thigh, two thirds of the way down the leg, the thigh from the hip. You want to not avoid placing your hand on your knee to help protect your knee. You're not really pressing down, you're just resting your hand. Adding a little bit of extra weight up to allow gravity to do all the work. Take a deep breath in. And out. Inhale, knees back up above your hips, back center on the mat. Parallel your shins to the ground, arms out to a T. Inhale. Exhale, supine twist, and both knees to the right, two knees to the left. Again, option stay here, option lead your top leg where it is, and stretch your bottom leg to the top of the mat. Option to also rest your right now right hand, two thirds way down the thigh from the hip. Take a deep breath in. And out. Inhale. And exhale. back up over your hips, curl up as small as small you can, wrap your forearms around your shins, forehead up towards your knees, inhale, squeeze everything together nice and tight, and then exhale, show us, and let your legs go down, feet sway wide, arms relax at your sides, palms can either face up, to receive a little energy, forehead's down to ground, it's up to you. Feel free to take any micro adjustments you might need. I like to draw my shoulder blades slightly close together to create a shelf for my heart. And then just close your eyes and just relax here. You worked hard this past hour. Take these next few moments to find some rest. left here in Shavasana. 
first movement back in the body will be your toes, will be your fingers, roll out your ankles, roll out your wrists, draw your right ear to the mat, and then your left. Take a full body stretch, reach your fingers to the wall behind you, toes to the wall in front of you, stretch on the out nice and long. And then float your knees up over your hips, and roll onto either your right or left side, fetal position, use your body, place up like a pillow. Elon Shavasana to mark the end of this chapter of your day. Long fetal pose to mark the beginning of the next chapter. Try to keep your eyes closed. Use your top hand to press yourself up to a seat. Walk your hands closer to your hips to bring yourself up to a seat. Find a comfortable seat that's setting up nice and tall. Hands are heart center. Exhale all of your air. Inhale through your nose, fill up. And exhale, let it go. Inhale your thumbs up to your third eye center, connecting your heart to your mind. In honor of the practice and to each other, Om Namaste, Bow forward. All right, everyone, thank you for joining me for class. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, focusing on the hamstrings and hip flexors. All right, um, as usual, today is a suggested donation of $10. If you don't have that to give, that's totally fine. Um, if you do, I'll be posting my Venmo uh, in a comment on the video in just a few minutes. If you don't use Venmo and want to give, reach out to me directly and we can come up with a different alternative. Um, I am also doing private yoga lessons, so if you are new to yoga, want to learn the basics, or if you are uh, more advanced, and want to uh, more practice, and you want to advance your practice. Either, either reason, really, you can reach out to me. We can set up a one-on-one -on -one appointment to help develop a sequence based on you, your body, and your capabilities. Um, I will be doing this again Monday, Wednesday, Friday next week, as well as the week after for the rest of May. Um, if stay at home gets in Chicago gets extended to, through June, I'll be doing it all of June as well. Uh, please, please, please share this with your friends. Let them know about these noon classes, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Central Standard Time. Also, if you have friends that want to do yoga but can't do it during the lunch hour, tell, sh tell them about the fact that I post the videos to the event afterwards. That way those who can flow, again, flow to it later can. Um, I'm also doing my best to post these videos to a YouTube playlist as well. So you can have access to a whole library of these classes. Um, I'll be posting the, the link to that playlist in the comments below. Um, if you have any questions, any feedback, things that you like, things that you didn't, reach out to me directly or post a comment in the video. I'll try to answer any concerns, answer any questions. Um, yeah, stay hydrated, stay healthy, stay safe. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Happy Friday and enjoy your weekend. Namaste.